Hey y'all, I know that this is kind of like a little bit weird. It's really weird for me, but you guys, I got so much stuff from Dollar Tree. I told my husband I'm not going to Dollar Tree anymore because this shed is literally packed full. But I'm a part of these Dollar Tree D stash groups on Facebook where if you guys can't find items, you can go to Facebook, go to the Distash groups. Now, granted, the items are either a dollar fifty to two dollars to cover like the person's travel, um, taxes, whatever, um, and you have to pay shipping and sometimes PayPal fees. But if you're really like desperate for that item, then. It just is what it is. So I am on these groups and while paging through, I see all these items that I want. So of course I have to go to my store and try to find them, which I usually never end up finding them, but I do walk out with like a hundred to two hundred dollars worth of stuff. I got my fly swatter here because the flies in here are driving me nuts. So, I got that right here. And let's just jump into it. So, I don't normally do Dollar Tree hauls on my channel. However, I had so much stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So, I figured that we would just do a haul. Now, this, this is not Dollar Tree, but it was in the bag to bring out here because what I do is, like, I'll get my stuff and put it right by the front door. That way, when I go outside, I can bring it to my shed. Um, but these are woodworking glue sticks. I got them off Amazon. It was $30 for this big box, and all the reviews were saying how well they hold like wood together or anything really so I figured that I would try these and I will let you guys know how those are and I will link them in my Amazon store in the description box as well now this is just I needed these for a few I have um, some plants um, so boring they're just little pots no big deal Um, I finally found all the galvanized stuff. My store literally just got the galvanized stuff. Um, so I picked up two of these metal houses, galvanized houses. I have had one with the hole in it before, but I bought that off of the Dollar Tree D stash group. So... And then I also found these 3D wreath forms. These are the small ones. Now, I get comments that you guys are so jealous that my stores are so amazing. But you guys, I literally go to probably six stores. And then if my stores don't have them, then I go to the Dollar Tree D stash groups on Facebook and find it there. So my stores aren't always the most amazing. I have to tow two to three kids around with me to multiple different stores to find anything good so don't envy me um because you think that my stores are amazing because they're not all like that um but anyway um I bought two of these of the smaller ones at one store and then at another store I found the bigger ones I found the bigger ones now I used these last year in a fall DIY I made kind of like a little pumpkin um, out of them. So um, I'll try to link that video in the cards in the right hand corner. Okay, I think my girls are home. I'll be right back. Okay, false alarm. They are on their way. They're with my dad. So we might have some visitors here soon. Um, but let me try to pull out all the galvanized stuff. Well, that's all there is in this bag. So I got two of these galvanized stars. I'm thinking more on the lines of like Christmas with these. So you guys know if you see it at Dollar Tree and you have any type of idea, grab it. Or next time you go, it won't be there. And then I did find these. Um, they're called... 
metal bottle caps. Come on camera. There you go. Metal bottle cap. And they are like really heavy. I'm, I was shocked when I picked these up. They kind of look like a pie dish. If you guys see me looking up, I have my little screen attached to my camera. So I'm not crazy. I just want to make sure that you guys can see the item. That's all. See? <laughs> see my little screen on my camera? Anyway, these are really, really good quality. And I'm going to try my hardest to um, not edit this video. Um, editing takes a really long time. And just to get one video out to you guys per week poses as a challenge sometimes. So I'm hoping that I can just throw this together really quick for you guys. I don't know if it will work out like that, but that's the plan. So I always keep all my Dollar Tree receipts. I went in there for one thing. I went in there for one thing, you guys. Yeah, imagine that. So, I always keep all my receipts. And don't mind my background. My kids just have at it. Whatever. It is what it is. Next, I have this wired jute cord. I used this in my last video. Um, I do like it, but it kind of, it's kind of annoying Like when you go to clip it off the jute unwraps from the wire and then you can see the wire so then you have to cut it's it's kind of a pain but it's nice to have i guess i could probably just wrap some twine around wire myself but i ain't got time for all that so um i got this wire mesh it's kind of like chicken wire um but like ribbon form i guess i don't really know um, they had these at Hobby Lobby last year for like $4, so for a dollar, that's a really good deal. But I only found one of those. Okay, and these aren't any in any specific order. I'm just grabbing out of the bag and showing you because I don't have time to separate them and all that fun stuff. So, oh, this is open, which this is Spanish Moss. This will be perfect for fall. Um, it's approaching quicker than we know. Before we know it, we're going to be doing fall DIYs. It usually starts in July, August. I'll probably start in July. I don't really know, but that's usually when it starts on YouTube, just because people like to have enough time to make their stuff to put it up when it's time. So, anyway, this brings me to my next item. Um, I love to have these for my craft room, multi-purpose clips. They're actually really good quality. And what I like to do with them, for stuff like this, this is kind of open at the bottom, is, obviously, just clip that. That way, it doesn't go all over the place when I store it away. Okay. Next. So, I got these with fall in mind again. Um, these are from the ribbon section. This is called paper ribbon. Look how cute that is it's like braided and it's kind of like raffia material almost I don't know but then I got these other ribbons they're just kind of like jute but in different colors so I thought that something like that would be cute I don't know I just thought that the colors went really well together Next, I have these detailing scissors. You guys, I literally have had probably 10 pairs of these. 
And Sophia loves them, I guess, just because they're so small that every time I go to grab for them, and my, I have a little cart over here. It's a mess, but I have a little cart over here next to my desk when I'm filming. It has my brushes. It has all my chalk couture stuff, paints, um, all that kind of stuff right there by my desk. That way I don't have to run all over the place to try to get items. And these, I've had, like I said, a ton of pairs on my cart and every time I go to look for them they're gone because little Miss Sophia takes them, cuts paper up, whatever she does. So had to pick up another pair of those. Those I'm gonna hide this time. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Alright you guys I have got to put this hair up. Okay y'all sorry I had to get the kids from my dad they're in there napping they were exhausted my dad like takes them and plays with them and all kinds of fun things and i needed to put my hair up and when i was walking back out here this had fallen off of my plant so i was like screw it i'm gonna put it right here in my ear so don't like it bye <laughs> um okay so i got these thinking about me and Sophia. She's really into tie-dye right now, and these are the little tote bags. They're in the Crafter Square section, and I saw the little tie-dye on there, and I was like, oh, that's a cute idea. And then it's it would also be cute for um, like my chalk couture stuff. I have ink for chalk couture, where when you heat set it, um, it becomes like one with fabric or glass, whatever, when you heat set it and then it's permanent. So you can wash it, you can wear it, whatever the case may be. So that was my thinking for these. Um, along the same lines, I got two shirts for Sophia. Um, again, to chalk on or ink on, I should say. And then this was a boy's, but she can wear it. Why not? It's a little tank top. Bella's in there. She's like half asleep, half awake. But I can see her on the monitor. She's just fine. So don't come for me. Okay. Next, um, I got this. Hello. Hey, camera. I got this um, with the thought of like painting it and doing like a sign on it. And then it's just called 16 inch round tray. It's in like the party section. So that was my thought for that. Okay. These I saw everywhere at the beginning of this season. I never seen them until now. So they're like these little steaks. This one says locally grown fresh produce. And it comes, like I said, on a little steak. And then this one says, don't stop believing. Sprout some love. Look how cute that is. So, I know that these are old news, but they're new news for me. I, I Like I said, I did see them, but I didn't see them in my store until just recently. Now, these are really, really good. Alright, so this one says family. And it's got pink buffalo check. How cute is that? Well, it's kind of like buffalo check. And then this one says, hello. I love the background on this. And it does have staples in this. So I can pull these staples and then like redo the back if I want. I was thinking I could cut these letters off. I don't know. So many options. And then the last one I was thinking for fall, it says gather. So I would, again, take the backing off, redo it, something. I don't know. But DIY in mind for these. Next, I found this little home sign. I don't know if you can see it. They have some glue strands in there. <laughs> um little wreath around the O and it does come on this little base so this I probably would not do anything with this I would probably just use for decor um but 
anything's possible, I suppose. These I had in mind. My dad is a crabber. He loves to crab. He loves to um, boat and do all that stuff. So I thought that this would be really cute for Sophia to... Oh, and also he loved... <sighs> Per usual, I can't talk. Yes, I can't talk in real life or on video or voiceover. But my dad loves plants as well. So I was kind of thinking that this would be a fun activity for us to plant him something in here for Father's Day. Um, you know, and it says collect us all. And... There's another, like, series of it, I guess. So, I got her this little fox. I got a few of them. That way, like, she can do one and I can do one. Something that we can do together. And then, again, it says collect us all. There's a bunch of different ones on there. Or, a bunch of different ones in the collection. And they're all named, like this one is named Flora. It says, hello, my name is Floral. Flora. <laughs> and then the crab says, hello, my name is Cecil. And then I also got this shoe eraser. These are great, you guys. I have a 15-year-old who loves shoes, but he's really hard on his shoes. So it gets kind of annoying and I'm like, boy, you better go wipe your shoes down. Okay, you guys, so that was a complete and total fail. The kids did not want to sleep. Isabella's right here, so you could probably hear her. She's in her stroller, enjoying the weather. Um, but I knew that I had bought another one, but Little Missy Sophia already took it out of the box and was playing with it. Oh. Um, this one's name is Skylar and it's Little Seal. Look how cute they are. Mommy, can you miss a little for me? In a minute. I think they know how to open it. I don't know how the heck they had this in the box. Just like that, maybe. In here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, since I don't have long nails like you, I can't do it. And since you cut my nails, right? All right, watch your turn. I want to show them the fox, all right? All right? Okay, and then that's it, because i got to finish this, okay? What's, what's the fox's name? Flora. Flora. All right, come here. Hi, this is a little fox and her name is Flora. <laughs> and she's a cute little fox with eyes and a little cute black nose, white ears, white eyes, and some a little black, <laughs> and he's orange. Good job. Is it a C or a H? Whatever you want it to be. I'm going to be in the sea. Okay, yeah. It's a sea. Hold it up. She's a, a, she's a little fox. I got these from the Dollar, Dollar Tree D stash group. And then I think that I ended up finding some. Which, that's the way it goes sometimes. It just is what it is. So, Fresh Flower Market. And my mom found these. This. I got those from the Dollar Tree D stash group. I could not find these on, um, or I could not find these in my store, but they're jars with like a little jute hanger. They're actually really cute and nice. Okay, dude, with your motorcycle, don't you know I'm trying to film? <laughs> no, it's a gorgeous day out, so I doubt that will be the last one, but I did pick up these pot holders to again ink on with my chalk couture um, personalize them make them look pretty instead of just this plain black color now I got four of these I will save you the bore and not show you all of them they're these little stackable drawers they're actually pretty 
hard plastic. They're pretty nice quality. They also, I didn't know this, but I think that they kind of like slide onto one another. Um, looking at the picture, yeah, they like slide and connect. I don't know how good it will be, but I do have an idea for these, so that's why I picked up four of those. So this past year at Christmas time, I wanted to make ornaments with these so, so, so bad. And of course, I couldn't find any. So I did pick up the circle, the heart, and this little plaque. Um, they're pretty heavy. I'm sure they're, um, it looks like it's a bunch of pieces of thinner wood glued together. I'm sure you guys have seen these a zillion times, as have I, but my store didn't have them for the longest time. I did pick up a star, too. So, I have ornaments in mind for these. Um, next, I picked up a little, I don't know if this is a dog or a cat bowl, but this was in the animal section. Um, and again, I have an idea for this. So this is an everyday item, but I needed it for a project coming up. So I picked that up along with these stove covers and those two items kind of go together. So I will let your mind wander. Um, but hopefully nobody steals my idea and figures it out, but these are an everyday item as well, so I'm sure your local Dollar Tree has those. This is just another random item, I, another random item. They are the photo document mailers. If you guys are not a part of my uh, VIP group on Facebook. I will have the link um, down below. Told you. I'm beeping at my daughter. Huh. Sorry guys. Um, I will have the link down below but every month I run contests and I give out free transfers. Um, it's a lot of fun so definitely check that out in the description box. But I bought these to be able to mail out the transfers when somebody wins. Alright, so. I got these two cups. This is more like a bowl to me. Like a soup bowl. But you can put coffee in there. You can put whatever. Microwave safe. This is a coffee mug. Tea mug. Whatever you want to call it. Um, again, I have chalk couture in mind for these. Um, I can ink on them heat set them and then they're permanent um next is this little hanging jar it's got this little handle on it and i do have i think two more of these i had an idea in mind and i needed one more so that's why i picked this one up again god only knows if that idea will be carried out but what are you gonna do about it all right guys we have two more bags so bear with me we are getting down to the nitty gritty. Alright, so I needed some more nautical rope. Now this is decorative nautical rope. This is a little bit different than the nautical rope they've always had. I can't really tell, like, like I know it looks different, but I don't know how it's different. I don't know if it's just thinner or if it's more tightly twisted I don't really know but it's definitely they definitely changed the type of nautical rope that it is I don't know maybe I'm crazy but I remember it being like looking a little bit different but I picked up a few of those this is a new company I feel like I've seen this company um before at Dollar Tree, but I can't really put my finger on it. But it is this different colored raffia. I got a like reddish maroon color. I got two green. 
and one natural. This one's actually a different brand. Oh no, it is the same brand, just different packaging. So it's that American Oak, and this is a really big bundle. I mean, it's it's pretty good size. Now the colored ones are a little bit less in them, probably because they're colored. But I had Christmas in mind for these, or the um, it could be fall, Christmas, whatever. This could be fall, this could be Christmas, or all of these could be fall. It it just depends. Um, what kind of look you're going for. Okay, so that's what it is. I did not find these fresh flower markets, so I'm glad I got these off of the D-Stash group. However, I did find these Weed It and Reet ones. And I thought they were a little bit bigger, judging by the pictures, but they're actually kind of small. Um... Let me measure them real quick for you. Yep. 11 by 3 and 3 fourths. So almost 11 by 4. I don't know. Oh, my glasses drive me nuts. If any of you guys have glasses out there and your glasses constantly do this, let me know in the comments down below. Even when I don't have my glasses on, I literally like just by habit go to like push my glasses up and I'm like oh my god girl you ain't got no glasses on just because I'm so used to them being on and having to push them up constantly and I naturally have a greasy face I always have and I'm constantly using those little oil wipes like all day long but it doesn't matter what I do <sighs> drives me nuts so if anybody has any remedy for oily skin i've probably tried it already but it's worth it to put it in the comments let your girl know a remedy because it drives me nuts next i got some floral moss which i already have some but again with the holidays approaching i go through a lot of this normally so i did just want to pick some up just to make sure that i have extra all right so i got three of these i'm not going to show you you know i got three of these these are the farmer's market with little herbs and stuff on them I love this little sign. And then the other one that my store had, which I got two of, is this little planted one that says, we were meant to be. And I bought this with the thought of like taking these off and using them for like tags. I don't really know, but that was my initial thought and they're only held on by staple again so really easy to just pop that staple out and use the little signs are you making noise out there huh yeah she's like i'm cute and i know it and i can do whatever i want to do <laughs> Okay, so I also got these little galvanized letters. They're they're pretty tiny. I was kind of disappointed. And they don't even come with all of them in a pack. Like, how ridiculous. Um, like, one pack has N through Z. And then the other pack has A through M. Again, kind of annoying. But I got three of each of those and i got these baskets that i've seen everybody haul but i literally just found them i can take these apart make tobacco baskets um i can use them as is so many different options but again i did pick up two of those all right guys if you guys are still here you guys are amazing we're on our last bag so let's get to it okay guys didn't i tell you that missy poo steals all my scissors i just caught her with these she took them out of the package and she's outside trying to cut paper up literally took them without me even seeing them 
You cannot make this stif stuff up. I'm not going to show you these just yet. I'm going to save these. You've seen a sneak peek. We're almost there. We're almost there. I'll show you guys them in just a second. Okay, so I've seen these all over the place too. They're this welcome little wreath. Um, it's a lot smaller than it looks like. Eight by eight. They looked like really big to me when I seen them in hauls and like on the D stash group, but that's okay. All right. So once again, with fall in mind, um, I got this kind of like grayish brownish color yarn. A maroon and a green I thought those were really really pretty for fall or again the maroon and green for Christmas so I thought those would be perfect a wine glass oh that looks weird <laughs> um, yet again for chalk couture ink I make these little mini videos to put up on Facebook so um, that's kind of what I had in mind for all these. Maybe I'll use them in a DIY. Who knows? I sure as crap don't. Um, so, anyway. Last but not least. Okay, guys. I am so sorry. My camera died. Or my battery died. I had to switch the battery. But I did forget to show you guys this color. It's a really pretty, like, it almost picks up like pink on camera but it is kind of like a purpley pinky I don't I don't even know what to call it it's really really pretty again I thought it would be pretty for fall time um, I might do like a DIY or like a video come on man I'm filming um now somebody is mowing their lawn I guess um anyway it it goes together really well with these other colors but I was thinking of maybe doing a video on my channel you guys can let me know in the comments if you would like to see something like this but a video of fall decor that's like this um, maroonish purpley fall decor I see it every year so um, I really actually like it I've never put it up in my home but I did want to challenge myself to make uh, like a whole video of stuff with this color scheme so again you can let me know in the comments but it did go well with all of these as well Okay, now my store did have a few fall things. I'm going to insert a video clip here of all the all the fall florals. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> all the fall florals that they have out right now. So, again, I'll insert that clip here. And I'm going to show you the ones that I picked up. They make a huge mess. They're making a mess already. So this ought to be fun. These are all the ones that I got. And I'll just kind of go through them really quickly. So again, I have a wreath idea in mind. So I got these kind of like beaded. Uh, they're called Heather. Um, but they had two colors that I seen. Actually, I believe they had three colors, but I only picked up the yellow and the maroon. 
And I did pick up three each of those. I'm gonna stick these right in the bag. That way, we don't end up with a huge, huge mess. I'm already gonna have to vacuum because little Miss Bella picks up everything off the ground now. I literally vacuum my house like 10 times a day because I'm just so afraid that she's gonna end up picking up something and like choking on it because we live under a bunch of pine trees so we literally track like all the pine needles and little mini pine cones like before they turn into a big pine cone um, there's a certain time of year where those fall and they kind of look like little worms I guess is the easiest way to say it and it's just a disaster so I vacuum multiple times a day so that way she doesn't get anything in her mouth but all right let me just get rid of those out of this pile okay next we have these wheat bundles oh, that's so good. and they did have three different colors I only picked up two so I got like kind of the natural wheat as well as I don't know what you want to call that. It's painted with some kind of like brown something. Mommy. Hold on, babe. All right. One second, okay? Can I show you on this? In a minute. Right. And I think I believe I believe I picked up two each of those. Yep, two each. And then I picked up one foxtail. And they had a few different colors of these. I think like two different colors. Hold on, you guys. I see a. Oh, never mind. Okay. And then what Miss Sophie has, I picked up two of those. Come show them. They're called what? Cat. Yep. Cat tail. Good job. You're so smart. And they're so cute because they have the little leaves and um they um like stick up. And I like that they. It's kind of like long grass, right? Yeah, they stick. And up. how many of these did we pick up? Two. Two bundles of those. Yeah. Can you see me through the weeds? <laughs> All right, put those in the bag. Those in the bag. All right, and last but not least, on the floral, these are called silver dollars. Yes, silver dollars. They kind of remind me of like a smaller eucalyptus. And they're orange, so they look like oranges. The leaves do. The leaves, the leaves right here. Looks like an orange, right? Alright, so I picked up two of the orange color. Yep. Two of the orange color. Actually, three, I lied. Yeah, three. I thought I picked up a different color, but apparently not. And then. The bees. What color is that? Green and a little bit of red. Good job. And how many of those did we pick up? One. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. We picked up five of those just because, again, I have this wreath idea. I don't know if it'll turn out, but I guess we're going to see. And then, last but not least, I found this pumpkin, and it is a tea light candle holder. It's just like a white color with a green leaf. And, like, I'm really excited to see what they pull out for fall this year. So, I'll definitely be checking on that. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for stopping by, watching this haul. So, if you guys made it through this entire video, please leave me a pumpkin down below. Let me know what month you guys start doing your DIYs for fall. Um, I kind of have to time it right here on YouTube because if you miss that mark, 
then people get tired of it. If you're too early, then people are like, whoa, what are you doing? So I'm just curious to hear like when you guys start doing your DIYs for fall. I'm excited to get into it. Um, I'm not really into summer decor and I don't know. I'm just like a farmhouse-y type of girl. But I do love to do the fall and the Christmas DIYs as well. So I am excited to do something a little bit different. I hope you guys enjoyed my Americana decor video. I also stepped out of my comfort zone on that one. So I am hoping that you guys really enjoyed that. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit different content than I normally would. So again, if that's something you enjoyed, I would love to know your opinion. So with all that being said, I appreciate every single one of you more than you'll ever know. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Um, we have to sit so we can all be seen. Say hi, guys. Hi. Um, Say hi, Izzy. Hi, Izzy. I want to see one more thing. Um, and <laughs> um, I know you guys have already seen it, but I want to show you one more time. But we're not going to go through all of the flowers. It's just two of them. Two flowers. Two flowers. Where are you going, Is? These. Called Silver Dollars. It's called Silver Dollars. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys want to take the tags off before you show us, that's fine. Right, Mom? Right, baby. You can take off the tags. Um, I don't we have five of them, but we don't want to go through them again. Sissy talking. So we got um, these ones. It looks like we have three, but we don't because this is just attached together. So. Show your other one. This one, um, it called dollar, dollar. Silver dollars. Silver dollars. It's not a silver time. <laughs> um, they're called silver dollars, and I like them so much because look at the leaves on the pictures. That's why I love them so much. And then, um, let me get the cat. You know, for, um, next thing I want to show you is the cactus tails. Cat tails. Cat tails. You can call them whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter. Um, you can call them whatever you want. Cactus tails, flowers, whatever you want to call them. And what I like about these is the cactus tails are soft. That's what I like about these because they're really soft. And you guys can feel it if you want here. <laughs> Do they have feel a vision? Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell everybody bye. Say love you guys. And we still have one more to do. Say so don't forget to subscribe to my mom's channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my mom's channel and hit that like button.